Dear learners, welcome to MathWrap. In this video, I will answer your question number 10 from Pearson and Excel A-level exam for Pure Math 1. This exam is taken in May-June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA11-01. The curve C has equation y equals to f of x where x is greater than 0. Given that f prime x equals to 6x minus 2x minus 1 into 3x plus 2 divided by 2 square root of x. The point P 4 and 12 lies on C. Find the equation of the normal to C at point P. Giving your answer in the form y equals to mx plus C, where m and C are in digits to be found, you need to find the equation of normal. To find the equation of normal, you should know the gradient, gradient of the tangent line. For example, let's say this is the curve, any curve, and here uh, we have a tangent line. Let's say this is the tangent line. And uh, and this is the normal this line is the tangent line you know let's say the gradient of the tangent line is m1 tangent is the line that touches the curve at one point let's say this is point p and this is the gradient of the tangent line okay let's say it is represented by m1 and gradient of the normal is representing m and this is the normal line normal line is always perpendicular to the tangent line first of all you need to find the gradient of the tangent line to find the gradient of the normal okay uh, actually the first derivative is the gradient of the tangent line let's say gradient of the tangent gradient of tangent is the first derivative that is given there that is equals to 6x minus 2x minus 1 and uh, it is 3x plus 2 divided by this one divided by 2 square root x this point p lies on the curve okay this point p p is the 4 and 12 so this is the value of x if you substitute this value of x there you can find the gradient of tangent gradient of tangent will be equals to m1 and uh, you can use the value of x as 4 in this equation okay so it will be 6 into 4 minus you can solve this like by substituting x as 4, 4 multiplied 2 is 8, 8 minus 1 is 7, so I am writing it directly, and this one is 4 multiplied 3 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, and square root of 4 is 2, 2 multiplied 2 will be 4. Now you can simplify this one by using calculator even, gradient of tangent will be equals to minus 1 over 2. So this is the gradient of the tangent, but uh, you need to find the gradient of the normal line that is uh, representing m. Okay, actually uh, the product of these two perpendicular lines is always equals to negative one. M into m one is always equals to minus one. If you want to find the gra one gradient is known, you can take the negative of reciprocal of the other gradient. Actually, this is the formula. Okay, you have to memorize this one. Therefore, gradient of the normal, let's say. normal is equals to m and that is equals to minus 1 over m1 easy way just apply this minus this minus will make it plus and take the reciprocal of this one so answer will be 2 for sure okay so this is the gradient of the normal line and now you could find you can easily find the equation of the normal line equation of the normal line normal through the same point p p is 4 and 12 the standard equation of the line formula is this one you have to memorize this one as well that is equals to y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. This is x1 and this one is y1. Substitute the values m we already found. Uh, you have to use this m for gradient of the normal because you are finding the equation of the normal. y minus y1. y1 is 12 and m is 2 and x minus 4. Now you need to multiply expand the right hand side and uh, move this value on right hand side as well. So y will be equals to 2x minus 8 plus 12 and y will be equals to 2x plus 4. So this is the required equation of the normal. It is exactly in this form y equals to mx plus c form. Okay. So it is exactly in this form. You can mention if you want to find uh, write the values for m and c to be found. You can write here if you want. Value of m is 2 and value of c is 4. Okay. So this is the equation of the normal line. First part of this question is done. For second part, find f of x giving each term in simplest form. 
now you need to find the f uh, function now only the derivative is given there uh, here is the formula i already wrote the derivative uh, derivative is given in the question if you remember the formula to find the function from the derivative this is the formula you have to memorize this f of x if you integrate the derivative you get the function okay because the uh, derivative is cancelling the integration so this is the formula you have to use here to find this one better you simplify this derivative then you integrate this one to integrate the derivative better you simplify this function this derivative uh, write 6x as is then expand the bracket here okay uh, better put here bracket to avoid this minus you know expanding this one it will give you 6x square and 2x multiplied 2 will be 4x you know it will multiply both numbers then minus 1 multiply both numbers it will be minus 3x and minus 1 multiplied 2 it will give you the answer as minus 2 divided by 2x square root then 6x minus keep minus outside of the bracket 6x square and solving these two it will give you answer 6x square plus x minus 2 divide by 2x square root now you can uh, this denominator will become the denominator of each term in the numerator so it will be written as 6x minus uh, keep outside and you can write as 6x square over 2x power 1 over 2 okay because x square root is 1 power 1 over 2 plus x over 2x power 1 over 2 and then you can write as minus 2 over 2x power 1 over 2 now this uh, denominator becomes the denominator of each term in the numerator hopefully you understand this step then you need to simplify this one and also expand the bracket this minus will apply inside and uh, you have to simplify them so it will be 6x minus 6 and 2 will be cancelled out and you get as 3 and x power 1 over 2 will be subtracted from 2 you know that 2 minus 1 over 2 answer is 3 over 2 okay so this power will be x power 3 by 2 this minus will apply here then minus plus will be minus and uh, you know here power is 1 1 minus 1 over 2 answer is 1 over 2 for sure okay this power is will be subtracted you can write as minus 1 over 2 x power 1 over 2 then this minus will multiply here and this 2 is cancelled out minus and minus makes it plus and you can move it up it will be x power minus 1 over 2 so this is the derivative now if you plug in this one in the formula directly you can integrate it will be easy to integrate then we know that we know that function is equals to the integration of the derivative of that function okay so plug in the value here it will be 6x minus 3x power 3 by 2 minus 1 over 2 x power 1 over 2 and plus x power minus 1 by 2 and you need to integrate this function there is a formula for integration that is power rule by power rule, power rule you increase the power of the function by 1 and divide by the same power it is the formula you can apply over here so answer for the first part will be you know 6 and x power is 1 increase the power by 1 it will be power 2 1 plus 1 is 2 divide by 2 and same here minus 3 x power 3 by 2 3 by 2 plus 1 you know 3 by 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2 so this will be x power 5 by 2 and divide by the same power 5 by 2 then minus 1 by 2 x power 1 by 2 plus 1 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 okay and divide by the same power that will be 3 by 2 then x plus minus 1 by 2 plus 1 is 1 by 2 so it will be 1 by 2 here divide by the same power 1 by 2 plus c so this is equals to the function now you need to simplify this one it will be this will be simplifying so it will be 3x to the power 2 minus you know here uh, it is minus 3 divided by 5 by 2 you know minus 3 divided by 5 by 2 means this 2 will multiply there so it will be minus 6 by 5 x power 5 by 2 same here you know this 2 will cancel with this one for sure i will show you there 1 by 2 divided by 
3 by 2 you know uh, it will flip there you know it will be 1 over 3 then it will be minus 1 over 3 if you solve this one you get the answer minus 1 by 3 you know you have to change this to, uh, divide into multiplication or you can use calculator to get the answer so it will be minus 1 by 3 x power 3 by 2 and this 2 will multiply over here because uh, 1 divided by 1 by 2 answer is 2 plus 2 x power 1 by 2 plus c so this is the function f of x but you need to find the value of c as well uh, let me go back there in the question the point p lies on this curve the point p this 4 and 12 lies on c now this is the equation of uh, the curve c uh, p lies on that curve 4 and 12 lies on the curve c so plug in these values this value is x you know this this value is x and uh, this value is this 12 is f of x or in other words it is y y is f of x so substitute f of x as 12 and x as 4 in this equation so it will be 12 equals 3 into 4 square minus 6 over 5 and here it will be 4 power 5 by 2 minus 1 by 3 into 4 power 3 by 2 plus 2 into 4 power 1 by 2 plus c so write this 12 as is here and then bring this value on the left hand side it will be 16 multiply 3 is 48 so it will be minus 48 and for sure this value will be plus use calculator to get the answer for this answer of this one is 192 over 5 and then use calculator again to get the answer for this one this one is plus as well answer of this one is 8 over 3 then this will be minus on the left hand side so it will be minus and 4 square root is 2 2 multiplied 2 is 4 equals to c therefore answer for c will be equals to 16 over 15 plug well, in this value in this equation to get the final answer for the equation of the function hence uh, we can write the answer here f of x will be equals to 3x square minus 6 over 5 x power 5 over 2 minus 1 over 3 x power 3 by 2 plus 2x power 1 over 2 and at the end you need to write the answer for c that is 16 over 15 so this is the answer for question number 10 hopefully you understand it if you have any question any doubt please write in the comment box thank you